If you're looking to import with the CJ Dropshipping into the Amazon seller, here's something that you can do. Now, CJ Dropshipping is a powerful tool for sourcing products and connecting this into Amazon can supercharge by e-commerce businesses. So by the end of this video, you have everything set up. So if you don't know what exactly is the CJ Dropshipping, basically, the CJ Dropshipping is a sourcing and fulfillment platform that helps e-commerce sellers find products and manage your orders. So it's a great solution for Amazon sellers who want to automate the process of listing and shipping products through the customers. How we can actually have uh, this process done, there's a few prerequisites to get started. First of all, you need a CJ dropshipping account. Second of all, you'll need an actual Amazon seller account. If you don't have an Amazon seller account, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to sell or to add products directly here from Amazon or from CJ directly here into Amazon. So you might want to have a sign up for selling here into Amazon. So to continue, first of all, you need to link the CA dropshipping here into Amazon. So to connect this, usually we have the authorization section. You can go here into the CA dropshipping. Let's sign in, create your account in a very easy way. Once you have created your account, let's go here for CA dropshipping. Here, I'm gonna locate the left section, scroll all the way down and look out for authorization. Now, into authorization, you can look out for uh, the element that says Amazon. Now, currently, Amazon, in my case, in the country currently living, Amazon is not available into the CA dropshipping. So that means that I needed to send the, all my products from the CA dropshipping into an online store, so my products from the online store can be imported right away directly into Amazon. Let's say, for example, like embraced. So for that, I'm gonna go directly once I get into the authorization. And I'm going to choose the Shopify. The Shopify is a place where I can just receive products from dropshipping directly here into the CG dropshipping. And once I have my products and ribbon out of here, I can just send those products from Shopify directly into Amazon. So into Amazon, let's locate this code that says quick start DE537, which in this case here appears as 537. That means that this product has not been authorized. If this one is not authorized, let's go for the option that says add to your store authorized and this one should be just asking you to download the application of the CA dropshipping once again and open this once you have opened this products it is time now to import your products directly here into your store let's go directly here into the CA dropshipping once again click to here let's scroll down and look out for one product which you like to add into the store let's say for example this one once I select this product let's locate it down here this element that says connect in the list, we have the custom editing. Make sure that the store selection is 537, uh, the product type number 4, the vendor ourselves, here's the title, collection, and text. Now, if I click here into the variant pricing, this is the actual price of the product. So, for example, this one, the RRP, which is the recommended retail price or the estimate profit, is 25. So, the product costs $6, the shipping fee, 14 and the total their shipping price of IST is $21. So my profit could be or come from $25 if, let's say for example, that my price is this amount, here should be appearing the estimated profit. If you don't know how to sell this amount, you can just look out here for clear or reinsure the currency and choose recommended listing price. Down here have the estimated profit once again, if you're okay with it, let's go for a list now, and your product should be now appearing into Shopify. Now to add your product from Shopify directly into Amazon, let's go back now into Shopify. Let's go and click into the option that says products. Into products, I must choose, I must see that my product has now been imported automatically. So as you can see here it is, once you have added your product, Let's preview this into the online store. As you can see, it is actually working. Now, let's change the actual product and add them directly into Amazon. Let's go here for the option that says applications. Into apps, let's type here and let's go for a search. And let's go for a search into the Shopify app store. If you don't see the search and discovery, you can look out for the marketplace connect. Now, the marketplace uh, Shopify has been, of course, built by Shopify 
and you can have pop up with businesses into the country you're currently living, including Amazon. So I'm going to hit into the option that says install. And to install, we just needed to grab the access between the store and my product and hit into install once again. Now that we have done this process, we now are ready to add my products, my account from Amazon into Shopify. So here into the option that says connect account. Choose acknowledged and continue. Here, choose the marketplace you wish to connect and go for connect. This now should be asking you to sign in in order to continue. Once you have just added this information, here into sign in. And you can import your products directly from Shopify and to send it directly here into Amazon just by using your actual elements, the Marketplace Connect. Now, in this case, we did to pay the monthly subscription fee in order to list products directly here into Shopify. So we have the payment information. Here's the credit on the debit card, the card number, the billing address. And you are not only able to list into Amazon, you're also able to list into eBay, as well as into Etsy, as well as into the Walmart even. So this is how you can actually list products directly here from Shopify. If you want another solution, well, basically Amazon is not, uh, let's say, available for doing a lot of drop shipping. So you might be needed to be really careful that if you want to add products directly from the drop shipping supplier, for example, the T8 drop shipping, which have products directly from AliExpress, coming directly here into China. So basically, that's how we can actually do this process. You have the link down below in the description. If you want to get started with the T8 drop shipping and the Amazon seller once again. You needed to pay for an actual fee in order to be an active subscriber here into the Amazon seller in order to add products from your store directly here into Amazon. So thank you for watching the video guys. See you next time.